appetizers to share with you today. These, you don't have to make these for the holidays. You can make them whenever you want. You don't have to make them for appetizers. It's food. If you want to eat it, you make it breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I'm not going to judge you. But before we start, this video is sponsored by Easy Off. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring my channel and supporting me. Last time I cleaned my oven, I did it on Instagram and I shared how simple the process was. So of course when they reached out, to sponsor me, I said, oh, I love your products. Yes, yes, and yes. Massive thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. I really appreciate it. I'll share more about them in just a moment. So the three things that I'm going to be making today are sweet potato bites, easy baked cranberry and brie bites. I'm sorry, fancy level 10. And then some spinach artichoke dip wonton cups. Wow, is that a mouthful. They seem really simple to throw together. So the first one, let's do the sweet potato bites. These appetizers have been on my Pinterest board for, I'm not kidding you, one year. I wanted to make them last year for the holidays, but never got around to it. So I'm happy that today is the day. I'm gonna give my sweet potatoes a nice little rinse. Then I'm going to cut them into like quarter inch thick rounds. Don't get your measuring tape out. Just, you know, a little bit. I tried to find sweet potatoes that were pretty thin and around like the same size top to bottom. That way my discs would kind of be a similar size. If you're a fan of sweet potato casserole, I feel like this is the new easy sweet potato casserole. Now that I have my sweet potatoes cut, I'm going to grab a sheet pan and layer them on here. I'm just gonna spread them into an even layer and coat them with two tablespoons of melted butter. Oh wow, of course you can mix this in a bowl, but why do you wanna dirty a bowl? You know what I mean? Here comes the good stuff. One tablespoon? It says teaspoon, but let's do tablespoon of maple syrup just right over top. Because honestly, my heart wants more than one teaspoon. Pop a little salt on here to enhance the flavor. Just gonna give them a good mix. Make sure every piece is nice and coated. Oh my gosh, this smells like the holidays. Okay, I'm gonna pop these into the oven, 411 degrees for 10 minutes. Halfway through, I'm gonna flip them. It's my favorite thing to do, don't you know? It's been 10 minutes. I am going to flip all of these. This is what I like to call the two fork method. All right, into the oven they go for another 10 minutes. So when the sweet potatoes come out of the oven, you want to put a marshmallow on top of them. So I bought, jump, these are jumbo marshmallows and these are American jumbo marshmallows. Do you see the difference in size? This is ridiculous. Is that what I use? I'm sure that would make a lot of people happy. I'm gonna use the jumbo ones. These smell incredible just as is. I'm gonna throw these in the broiler for just a minute. Keep an eye on them, it goes fast. So they look finished to me. I'm just going to pull them out and pop a pecan on top. If you're recreating these, Maybe use a smaller marshmallow. That would be my suggestion, unless you like a nice puff. Okay, I plated some of them. There's still so many over there. And I think they are so much better than what I thought. A little tip, the smaller the better. Uh, but, you know, if you like a two bite appetizer, go for the large ones. Did you guys also notice my nice clean oven when I took the sweet potatoes in and out? It's because I cleaned it with Easy Off, so let me share more about it with you. So here we are, my beloved oven. You guys know how much I love my oven. I cook almost every day, so my oven gets really nasty. This video is sponsored by Easy Off. It was a really easy decision for me to say yes to this sponsorship. Last time I cleaned my oven, I did it on Instagram and I shared how simple the process was. So of course when they reached out to sponsor me, I said, oh, I love your products. Yes, yes, and yes. So I've got two types of products here. Easy Off, this is for everyday cleaning. It cleans in as little as 30 seconds. So super quick and easy to use. This one is for heavy duty stuff. Well, I'm gonna use both on here. We're gonna see what it gets off. They remove tough, burnt on food and grease. So let's start off with the everyday Easy Off. I'm gonna show you my crusty oven. I mean, I've seen worse. Maybe a little bit. Oh boy, look at all of it. You know what, since the holidays are coming up, we should really prep our kitchens and our oven for all of our future cooking endeavors and all of our future visitors, right? That's a really good spot right there. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the blue can and see what comes off. 
This one is fume free. You don't need gloves. It works in as little as 30 to 60 seconds. It's safe for self-cleaning ovens. Great for spot cleaning. I got a lot of spots here. So let's do this. Just three simple steps. Spray. I'm just gonna do one corner for now. And then we let it sit for 30 seconds. 60 if you have a minute. Our one minute is up. I just have an old rag here. I got it a little damp. And I'm just going to wipe it clean. Again, this is for spot cleaning. Obviously, my oven needs a little more help than that. And that's why I have the other product as well. But you can already see so much dirt coming up off of this. Did you know Easy Off is the number one oven and grill cleaner <laughs> for good reason? But you guys know me. I haven't cleaned my oven in over a year. I should probably be better about that so that I could use this one more often. But thankfully, Easy Off also offers a heavy duty option as well. So for the deep cleaning, I have my glove on. I have a cold oven turned off. I am making sure that the red dot matches up with the red dot on the can. Give it a little shake. Spray nine to 12 inches away and soak it liberally. I'm gonna make sure all my soil surfaces, which is my entire oven, are really well covered. Side note, the spray nozzle on this thing is pretty extreme. All right, I think we're good here. Now I'm just gonna close the oven and wait one hour and 15 minutes. All right, it has been one hour and 15 minutes. I have been waiting for this and it looks like it's gonna rub right off. Just like seeing all the grime. Oh man, this oven is disgusting. Grease works hard, but Easy Off works harder. You guys can see all the bubbles and how hard the product is working, trying to get that burnt off food, all that grease up, and that's what Easy Off is good at. So I'm just gonna take my rag. It's damp. I'm going to wipe it off. Here's where the magic happens. Are you ready? I just know this first wipe is gonna be so magical. I need to give you a good shot of it. Holy cow, I have no words. It is magic. I'm not even scrubbing or anything. It's just coming right off. And that's what I love most about a cleaning product. The fact that I don't have to do anything. The cleaning product does it all for me. I mean, all vomit, but also, Thank you, Easy Off. This is amazing. <laughs> I just can't believe all that dirt and grime. Guys, I have scrubbed and scrubbed and still have not been able to get anything off. But look at this. I'm just wiping it clean and it is like brand new again. Unreal. Do you see this? Just like that. All right, I'm gonna wipe the rest of this. I mean, it's as easy as this. Look at that. Look at that schlop. Oh, it's like mud. It's my favorite kind of mud. Marketing for this product is spot on because it does literally what it says. It comes off easily. I mean, do you even remember what it looked like before? It was disgusting. I couldn't be happier with these results. And there's actually a little spot back here that I just sprayed, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. But I noticed that when I, when I closed the door, some of it dripped right here and over there. And I wiped it before I started filming. And it's like brand new over here. So I sprayed that not too long ago. Let's see if it comes up. Oh my gosh, like butter. Is this a joke? And that's just after waiting, I'm not kidding, 10 minutes. This is wild. Here's the after. Oh my gosh, you can see my reflection. <laughs> a nice change of pace from what it looked like before. Am I right? Oh wow. Is this what an oven is supposed to look like? Incredible. I have a couple more recipes to share with you, but don't forget the main ingredient when you want to clean your oven. I feel like Billy Mays right now. Easy off. Go get yourself some everyday cleaning, deep cleaning. It covers all its bases. Let's go. So this next recipe sounds impressive. It looks impressive. It is easy baked cranberry and brie bites. Okay. So it says to throw the wheel of brie into the freezer while you prep everything else. We need some crescent dough, a mini muffin tray, and cranberry sauce. Doesn't it just make you happy when you find fresh cranberries in the produce section? I feel like these are only out during the holiday season. I could be wrong, but that's the only time I see them. This is dirty, who washed it? Probably me. So this one, again, super simple. You take, how does this open? Do I have to peel it first? <laughs> it's been a while since I used crescent dough. And actually, this is a crescent dough sheet. So you don't have to sit there and like, 
pinch the crescents together, which I thought was an amazing, innovative idea. The recipe is telling me to flour my work surface. Okay, I'll listen to them. I think this is pancake mix, but it's good enough, right? Mine's got a hole in it. Nothing in my life is ever perfect. Just pinch that sucker back together. I use my pizza cutter to cut it into as many little squares as I can. I'm gonna go down the middle first. In an attempt to make these all the same size, all right, I'm gonna just cut it into however many this is. I use my very precise measuring tool. My fingers, 50% of the time, it works 100% of the time. I'm gonna grease my mini muffin pan and pop these guys right inside. All right, I have them all filled in here. Next up, I think we cut up the wheel of brie. And it, I mean, brie is just a cheese where you hear that you think that is fancy, or at least I do. I mean, really, you don't even need a recipe for this. I just read through it. You pop the crescent in there, you pop a piece of brie in there. Oh, this is, ew, what? It's covered in paper, right? You don't need that part? Excuse me, am I showing my ignorance? I think you peel off the white part. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, uh, my stomach is happy not eating this. I'm just gonna cut the white part off and then cut it into cubes. It's a very soft cheese, so I can understand why they want you to freeze it before you cut into it. All right, little piece of brie for each bite, about a half an inch thick. Okay, let me tell you something right now. The recipe, this is why I don't follow recipes. The recipe says get four ounces of brie. Well, I went above and beyond and got eight ounces, mostly because I couldn't find four ounces, and it is going to take eight ounces, unless you cut your pieces of cheese even smaller than I did. So I'm just saying, when you're preparing for a recipe, I would always prefer having more than less. Three pieces left over, down the hatch. Ugh. I'll save that for later. Ugh, pungent. And you take your cranberry sauce and just one teaspoon in each one. Now that they're all finished and coated with the cranberry juice or whatever that is, cranberry sauce, I don't know, it's store-bought. Cranberry sauce. I got the one with the whole berries. I'm gonna throw it in my oven 375 degrees for about 10 to 13 minutes. Here are the brie bites once they're cooked. Oh my word, all right, I'm gonna Ooh, yeah, oh, wow, do you see that? Okay, I'm gonna try to take these out. Should I let them rest a minute? They're not sticking, which is really nice. All right, I'm gonna let them set in there just for a minute or two till they're a little more cool, and I'll display them. Ooh, they look great. So the final touch on these brie bites, oh my gosh, don't they look absolutely incredible, is just a little sprig of thyme. And this is mostly for presentation. No one is going to like eat a whole, oh my gosh. But Food Network, do you see this? Unreal, man. This is unmatched. Should I put one in every single one? Or is that overkill? I don't think so. You know, just for the holidays. We go above and beyond. Wow, wow, wow is all I can say. This makes me so happy. <laughs> I mean, forget it. Hands down, no skill involved at all, but it looks and tastes so impressive. Make this for your next to get together and people are gonna be like, uh, what? Food Network? Nothing screams holiday cooking more to me than cranberries and thyme and sweet potatoes. And what are we making next? Spinach artichoke dip wonton cups. Another super simple recipe. Let's get started. First, I'm going to drain my spinach and I just use a paper towel to kind of wring out all of the liquid from frozen spinach. And there is a lot in there. And this was about 75 cups of spinach. Half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Two ounces of cream cheese. You may be asking yourself, Kim, why are you putting that on a cutting board? No good reason. Pictures, I guess. I'm just trying to get Food Network to call me back, you know? You know what I forgot? Artichokes. You also need a couple of cloves of garlic, which I almost used powdered garlic, and then I thought, Kim, what is your rule? Fresh herbs, fresh citrus, fresh garlic. It makes everything better. It it just elevates a dish, so I encourage you, if you have it, use the fresh, take the extra four seconds. We also need some wonton wrappers, sour cream, and mayonnaise. Let's whip it up. The first step is to take the wonton wrappers and pop it into a muffin tin. I am going to continue to use my mini muffin tin. The recipe states to use a normal size. I might cut these wrappers in half, or I might not, I haven't decided yet. 
I cut a little bit off of each side just so they would fit in here with just the smallest amount of overlap. I don't want like wonton hanging out of my mouth, you know? So we cook these for five minutes and then we'll work on the filling while they're in our new freshly cleaned oven. Into the oven 350 degrees for five minutes. While those are cooking, I'm going to mix together the rest of the ingredients. We need one third cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of sour cream, two ounces of cream cheese, half a container of spinach, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Again, what are measurements? It doesn't matter. I'm going to grate the garlic in here. I have three cloves. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of garlic. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You know what else would be good? Lemon juice. Can I add that? I mean, it's my kitchen. I can do what I want, right? A little bit of lemon juice in there. Also, don't forget the artichokes, but you know me. Give that a nice mix. Now that we have our blind baked uh, wonton shells, is that the proper term? If it's not a pie, I don't know. I am going to fill them up with all the filling, just a couple tablespoons in each. I got them all filled up. I said tablespoon before. I meant a couple teaspoons. Just fill them up till they're full. No skill involved at all, just like that. I'm gonna pop these into the oven for about 10 minutes until everything's heated through. Here they are, all finished. Oh my gosh, if you could smell these. I would personally add like five extra cloves of garlic. Oh, just because garlic is so delicious. I can't wait to bite into one of these spinach, spinach, dip, wonton cups. <laughs> spinach, spinach, dip. All right, I'm gonna plate it up. You know what, I didn't do a taste test. The sweet potato, let me try it. Unreal. Do you know what would make it that much better? Cinnamon, just a little, if that's your thing. So that is it, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you got some good recipes today for whatever appetizer you're making next. Don't forget to check out Easy Off. My link will be in the description box below. I'll see you next time. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. Bye. Did you guys also notice my nice clean, ah!